Alrighty, well, good morning everybody, and time once again for my pseudo cast. And um and to forewarn everybody, um like the like the cast I did a few days ago. There or no, the one I did yesterday, um this one here is gonna be fairly intricate. There is like, you know, a fair amount of images, gifts and video clips and whatnot, so just um if I if I make a few mistakes here and there, don't be surprised. And uh, for the music, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. I'm kind of getting tired of the uh, the dungeon synth and the uh, ambient type music that I was playing. And um, I played a, I played an album of this, another one some time ago. It was like a, it's like a hippie chick with uh, her outstretched arms and stuff like that, or something like that. Excuse me. Um, this is uh, Universal Hippies, Evolution of Karma. It's stoner rock, and it's uh, also instrumental as well. So, let me go ahead and fire that up. And hopefully I have the sound right. Oh, and also, I'm going to have me a can of V8 Energy, peach mango flavored. And I'll go ahead and get this out of the way. I just had a vision of this moment. I don't, I don't, I don't remember the outcome. I just know that, uh, I think I just, I had a dream of this exact moment right here. Me saying, uh, peach mango and all that, so. Just, for what it's worth. Okay, just to let everybody know, um, I just had to chop off about 10 minutes out of this video. Uh, at the time, at the time I was making the video footage for it, or, the. Uh, it was a uh, gameplay footage. The the OBS was showing, or the, despite the fact that the OBS, it was um, it was actually showing that the sound was was there. I wasn't hearing it in my headphones at all. Uh, like I wasn't getting any sound whatsoever. Um, during the playback of this video, come to find out later that the sound works just fine. So the all the all the gameplay sound effects was um, interfering with the with the actual background music and just made a real mess. So I had to completely gut out this video. I had to gut out or I had to take out the uh, the ten minutes worth of uh, the ten minutes worth of video. So I just thought I'd go ahead and um, thought I'd just go ahead and let people know that. So. Okay, so this morning, um, one of the YouTube channels I watched, uh, the leaderboard. They, uh, they just came out with a video. I think it was like about, I think it was either yesterday or sometime last night. About, um, about Nintendo. And, um, Emperor Lemon also made a video about Nintendo as well. Um, short answer. Yeah, they are a bunch of assholes. It's, oh my god. But basically, the the gist for those that don't know, um, Nintendo are are super militantly against anybody making any kind of copy of their work. Um, fan games, mods, um, just mods and tournaments like the uh, the Smash Brothers tournaments. Nintendo will always try to always try to put the kibosh on those in ASAP. So, I mean, God, what a bunch of douchebags, you know? I mean, they kind of, I mean, I, I kind of thought about, I mean, God, I kind of thought about it, it kind of occurred to me, um, they're kind of like, I mean, they're kind of like the punkin' strippers. They're kind of like strippers or those smoking hot babes, you know, that kind of thing, like, you know, they, I mean, was, I ain't saying she's a gold digger, but she ain't, or she ain't messing with no broke niggas. That's, that strikes me as Nintendo right there, you know, you know, you know they're 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 hot and they know it, you know. So it it's kind of like back uh back in the '90s or the 2000s when I was dabbling in dating sites. It's like the fat ugly girls, they weren't picky. They just wanted a guy that was sweet and intelligent. But you know, if it was like a smoking hot babe though on on that on that uh profile. She wanted a college-educated guy who made at least at least fifty grand a year. You know, and they were and they were pretty much adamant about it, like like no leeway at all. 
You know, Nintendo kind of strikes me as that. You know, yeah, they're a great company. Look at all the titles they churn out. You know, Metroid, Zelda, Mario. You know, all of them. You know, but yet at the same, you know, you know, but yet at the same at the same time, you know, they they pretty much send a cease and desist letters to everybody. And um, not and before I forget, you know, before I forget here, um, because uh, hang on, lost my train of thought here. Um, I'll say this now before I forget, but. If anybody, if anybody likes what they're hearing or seeing, or if they if they like any of my videos, and if it if it was something that you probably want to watch again, then I highly encourage you to download it. Then, like find a way to download it, because um, because just um, I got a Nintendo logo on here somewhere, and um, if um, if this um. Uh, they were to somehow find out that I have a YouTube lo I have a YouTube logo on here, they might come after me with a cease and desist. As paranoid as it might sound, but like I said, these guys, they are, I mean, they are vehemently anybody, anybody copying their work. And you know, legally, legally they can do this, but again, um, oh, I'm trying to think. Or, hang on, hang on. Lost my train of thought again. Oh, but uh, yeah, Emperor Lemon, he also did, um, I think he did a three-part series on, uh, copyright law. I mean, it's not, it's not the 1900s anymore. Or it's not, it's not the 1950s. I mean, it's the internet age, you know? So, I mean, they kind of need to update the laws. Nintendo kind of needs to do the same thing, too. You know, this ain't the 80s anymore. Yeah, that... And I'm, I just remembered this too. There was a, I have a, I have a, like a video game documentary book. Uh, I got it in one of the boxes of my closet, but, um, Nintendo, Nintendo aren't assholes just to be assholes. It's, they don't get off on it. It's, um, they, uh, they they had this major problem back in the eighties with uh, lots of copies. Um, ever, you know. There was like a, there was like different variations of Pac-Man. Um, there were, you know, there were, uh, there were different versions of uh, Defender, I think. But you know, they all these, uh, all these clones of these classic video games that came out. Um, oh God, Blasteroids first comes to mind. It was a late '80s Asteroids clone. They just added some cool graphics and some extra mechanics and whatnot. But, you know, stuff like that. Um, Nintendo didn't want to see their work being diluted by a bunch of copycats, which at that time was understandable. Um, I believe that was one of the reasons that there was a video game crash in the 80s because of uh, all, the, all the bootlegs and the copycats and whatnot. So, just diluting the original product. But again, it... It's, you know, it's the internet age. It's not the 80s anymore. So, yeah, Nintendo kind of needs to get with the program here. And, it, and all the, and even with all the, uh, all the threats of lawsuits, they're still, I mean, they're still making fan games of Nintendo games. They're still doing it. Nintendo really, in the grand scheme of things, is not going to stop progress. So, it, so... It, it's basically just bully tactics. But, you know, I, and I don't, you know, I know I'm not Nintendo. And if I was to, if I was to ever create a, if I was to ever make a game on my own. You know, I, and if somebody wanted to copy my work, I, I take it as a huge compliment. You know, I mean, but on, you know, on the other hand, too, I mean, my game, hey, if I was to ever make a game, it ain't going to be near the quality of a Nintendo game. I mean, you know, because, I mean, it, it'd be my, it'd be the first ever video game that I had ever made, so it's probably going to be pretty ass, you know? So, for, 
if somebody wanted to make a fan version of my game, again, I take it as a huge compliment. You know, I wouldn't sit here and threaten the guy with litigation. You know, you know, I wouldn't want to sue the guy. And as kind of a kind of part and parcel to that, it's also one of the reasons why all of my uh, all of my creative content is uh, Creative Commons. It's free to use. You know, you want to use it, go go for it. Just all I ask is you mention where you got it from. You know, you got it from me, the original guy, not. Not from somebody else who made a, a compilation video of a bunch of, you know, stuff like that. You know, and it... Oh. There was a movie I watched a um, long time ago. I think it was called The Zeitgeist. The, the gist of it is, uh, oh, what was it? Memes are the future. Or some, something along those lines. I've only I only watched it once, but yeah, it was some it was pretty eye opening. It's just this you know this is the future memes. You know, you know this is the future of the internet. You know, um, I I keep I keep I'm trying to I'm trying to come up with a different word other than meme, but yeah, it, it's the meme age. So, hang on, my throat's kind of hoarse right now. But, you know, that's that's how progress happens. That's how innovation happens. I mean, I think it was off of the Zed Geist. But I also think, um, I think Ayn Rand also said the same thing, too. All knowledge is interconnected. Meaning, knowledge doesn't exist in a vacuum. It's, you, you come up with the ideas that you, you know, you, co you come up with the ideas that you come up with via somebody else's ideas. That's how it works, you know? Hey, that's a cool idea here. Hmm, I wonder if I, I wonder how I can improve on that. Hey, oh wow. Hey, that's a pretty, that's a cool idea. That's a cool idea. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I should try my own little, little variation of that. You know, I mean, again, that's, you know, that's how innovation happens. You know, that's, that's how create, you know, that's where creativity comes from other people's creativity. So, Nintendo is basically trying to, you know, it it's stupid of N Nintendo to sit here and try to stifle all that. So, again, that's that's also one of the reasons why all my stuff is free to use. You know? You know, take what I got and build on it. I mean, that's that's how knowledge builds. In fact, uh, I think I posted this uh, on my stream yesterday, too. Um, oh, what was it? The mind is like a parachute. It doesn't work when it's not open. Uh, Frank Zappa said that. Now, another one. Um, without deviation from the norm, progress is not possible. Frank, uh, Frank Zappa said that one, too. Ugh. <coughs> <coughs> uh. No, I think, uh, I took a drink a few moments ago and some of it went down the wrong pipe, so. <sighs> Throat's a little fucked up at the moment. <clears throat> okay, but I, but enough on that, so I'll just go ahead and move along. <sighs> um, but, um, but just like yesterday, um, I I started off uh, be, because I discovered media source where you can use you can use um you can use video footage from your computer. Um, I just started uh, I started toying with that, toying with that some more, and um uh, the early video clips that you saw, like um with the microtransaction stuff, the the gameplay stuff. And, and the uh, whoops, wrong one. And the Dorfro Manic video footage. All of these, all of these were made, were made with my uh, Windows Movie Maker. 
I just, um, I just went ahead and, uh, I recorded, I recorded probably about a half an hour of me playing Gems of War and Dwarf Romantic, and then just, um, I made like, like three 30 second segments that totaled to about a minute and a half, so, but yeah, um, I'm glad I found that. I did find uh, one big drawback to it though, is uh, I can't get the sound to work. So I'm gonna have to keep working on that. Cause there's, cause there's a, uh, there might be some YouTube clips that I might, that I actually do want the sound on. And uh, the only thing, the only thing I could think of, maybe using browser. But um, the few times I've actually tried that, or if you could, uh, if you could look at the uh, look at the menu, or look at that sub menu there where it says media, you know, where media source is highlighted. If you look a little higher up where it says browser, that's another option. Um, in fact, not, I, now that I think about it, most of the images that you just saw came from browser. Um, they're just just save the just copy the link paste it onto a browser source and then poof image so that's that's another great discovery I found that means I don't have to actually save it to my uh, to my uh, to my images folder so and I I kind of need to do something here real quick I completely forgot to do it earlier today. Uh, hopefully I can find it. Hopefully. Whoops. I forgot. It it came out as a super a super massive humongous image. So I gotta shrink it down now. Yeah, I, I forgot to add this last night, or I forgot to add this at the start of the video, but... Damn, still too big. Sorry about this, folks, but uh, this is the behind-the-scenes portion of this video, so... But, yeah. Yay! That's two days in a row now. I had internet after midnight, so... Um, but like I said, um, I tried, uh, I tried actually doing YouTube videos, uh, with, uh, using browser as a source, but one, it, for some reason, it goes to the, uh, it goes to Google Chrome and not Mozilla Firefox, the browser that I use. So I still got to work on that. And again, no, wait, 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 wait. trying to think um oh god how did it go oh that was um some of those um some of those browsers uh, my attempts at using browser they come up uh it'll come up as a redirect meaning I don't get anything at all so so it's not 100% act it doesn't work 100% of the time Alrighty, but I'm just gonna go ahead and call it good here. Um, I've said all the things I wanted to say, so so I'll just go ahead and call it call it a day, or I should say, call it a morning. Um, but otherwise, hey, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that, and I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then, thanks again for coming around, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.